The World Wide Web may never be the same again as nations gather in Brazil to decide who will rule over the Internet. Many believe it should no longer be the United States, angered by the revelations of its sweeping global surveillance. Well, currently, the bulk of Internet traffic, from your emails to web searches, it all takes a, a trip through the United States where it can be easily intercepted. That's one of the main things which governments, including Washington's partners in Europe, are willing to change. On top of that, the Net Mundial meeting is expected to strip America of its power to assign domain names. Marina Portnoy has more on the online game-changing events. The United States leads the world in secret surveillance and indiscriminate data gathering. But it is Brazil that is leading a debate about the future of global Internet policy. 600 delegates from 85 countries are in Sao Paulo for a two-day meeting that focuses on establishing strategic guidelines about the use and development of cyberspace. The event is called Net Mundial. Organizers say it was created in part due to concerns about government sanctioned surveillance and the impact it has on privacy. In the aftermath of the NSA spy scandal, Brazil has been pushing for a United Nations resolution that recognizes online privacy as a human right. Documents leaked last year by whistleblower Edward Snowden revealed that the National Security Agency was spying on the Brazilian government, including President Dilma Rousseff. For decades, the U.S. government has held poor control of the web through its contract with a nonprofit organization known as ICANN. ICANN is responsible for assigning top level domain names, handling the Internet's domain name system, as well as managing the web's root servers that house DNS records. Last month, Month, I can announce that it will be formalizing a multi stakeholder approach to Internet governance. Experts say revelations of U.S. cyber spying has increased the need for more countries to be involved in securing and protecting online privacy. Net Mundial kicks off with negotiations between the U.S. and international governments on cyber control. It was expected that one of the key topics to be addressed at the conference would be the adoption of anti-surveillance policies. However, the U.S. has reportedly refused to entertain any debate around the reach or limitations of state sovereignty in Internet policy. Nonetheless, organizers for the event in Brazil say they are sowing the seeds of a debate on Internet governance that has only just begun. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York. Now, in recent years, we've seen the Internet uh, develop as a tool which governments use as part of their geopolitical games. Our online communication is no longer private, as Edward Snowden revealed to us all. There are intelligence services intercepting and monitoring our emails. Secondly, the Internet has become a cyber war battlefield with countries like the US and China accusing each other of hacker attacks. And on top of all that, social media, no longer just a platform for self-expression and information sharing, they can help you instigate and organise protests. Remember the upheavals in Tunisia and Egypt in 2011, which were even labelled Twitter revolutions. As for the upcoming changes to the web, political columnist Ted Rawl believes it's time for the US monopoly to be broken. They were able to, uh, to dominate every aspect of the Internet from the very beginning. For example, uh, determining how the protocol for uh, URLs would work and so on, something that has, uh, is about to change uh, for the first time since the founding of the Internet more than 20 years ago. In terms of privacy, I don't think that there's any indication at this point that the United States is uh, about to respect privacy, uh, despite the Edward Snowden revelations about the, the NSA spying on uh, Americans and people all around the world. There's no indication that the United States has any interest in actually increasing privacy.